Hello, welcome to 22 Haitian Baby Page. Um, this is going to be a long video, so sit back, relax, and get a snack. Anyway, so I'm going to... It's a long video because there's three things I'm going to talk about. So right now, currently, I am trying to get a camera. I'm saving up to get a camera. So I'm going to put my um, cash app down. If you would like to donate, I would really, really, seriously, really appreciate it. Um, the last person that donated to me, I try to find cheaper options, but... Um, me and my husband phone were sync, which I, which irritates me because, um, I always have to free up space, free up space, free up space. And then plus the quality and everything. So I thought that, um, okay, let me give it one more. Let me give it one more, you know, let me give it a go for one more time. So I got this thing with uh, my money combined with the person's money. And I got this thing at Walmart while I was in Florida and it's a go viral DG uh, power superstar essential vlogging kit and this tripod it took me 45 minutes <laughs> to build this tripod um the way that they the instructions were horrible it was not good at all um but they do give you a lot of good things i will give them that um when i finally got it together um i'll see when i upload it how good it looks so far is doing you know good um the only problem is obviously i do my thing in the bathroom, my videos, all of my videos in the bathroom because that's the only place I get um, privacy, kind of. But you guys see my videos, you guys see my kids walk in, you see my husband walk in. So I don't have privacy. So, um, but hopefully by next year that will change. Pray that we could get a house so that way I could at least get a room for myself or get something bigger where I could, you know, set up the tripod and be good. Um, but um, yeah, the camera is more so for memory purposes and better quality and stuff like that. But I don't have to tell you guys that. So anyway, so this thing come with a mic and a light. I'm not using the mic and the light right now because I have good lighting right now. Um, and the microphone, uh, I got good sound. I'm pretty much talking to you guys loud right now. And um, yeah, so um, this was um, a goodbye. But as you guys will see, as the time goes, um, we'll see how this one goes. So this is just temporary until I'm able to save up for um, my camera and what I'm really trying to get um, so I could up my game. Um, also, oh, and it also comes with a remote control. So I, you know, I just stand there and tap it and do that. So the other thing is I am, I need to lose weight. Um, I am trying to go after a career um and the career that I'm seeking, I need to lose weight. Um, I wish it was one of those things that they went by BMIs, but they don't. They're going by the age, weight, and height, you know, what weight you're supposed to be at kind of a thing. Um, I want to be at 150 pounds, but they want me to be at 130 pounds. So hopefully I don't look like a bobblehead. I don't want to look like that. 150 pounds is what I was going for because that was like my freshman weight, you know, after I gained some weight and I thought I looked pretty good. I was 150 pounds, but I didn't look 150 pounds. Everybody thought I was 130 pounds. So it's like one of those things. If I don't look like my weight, I'll be good to go. Um, currently I'm 222 pounds. Um, I lost 20 pounds. Um, you know, that quarantine diet, no bueno. <laughs> it wasn't doing good. So, um, I've been going to the gym. I've been up gaming my um, cardio and adding just a little bit of um, weight training to it. Now, I lost 20 pounds, but right now I'm at a standstill. And so I just decided, okay, let me go ahead and Google weight loss clinic. And I found this one. This one was the only one that had a really good review, like straight off the board with every single customer. Um, so I decided to go this route. Now, I'm not going to share... The website and the only reason I'm not going to share the website is because I'm going to wait until uh, the results until I see the results you know I don't want to give you guys something you guys spend the money that I spent so I spent it for you guys so that way you guys could see how the results is um, so anyway um, I'll tell you guys what it is so it's the HCG diet um, that's kind of controversial some people feel like you shouldn't do it some people feel like you should if you push HCG diet on YouTube you will see the results that people have. Now, if you do exactly what you're supposed to do, you can lose up to 70 pounds. That is my goal. You could go three rounds. So you could do the first round, lose some weight, wait, uh, I think wait two weeks or whatever, and then start again. Um, and then wait and then start again. Uh, me, I just want and done. I'm not balling like that. I don't have, what, two, four, six, six hundred dollars to spend on that. Uh, so yeah, the only thing that I'm kind of worried about is 
people are losing weight so rapidly with this thing um from what i saw okay I, it's, that's not my experience obviously not yet um but um that i don't want saggy skin because that's the bad thing like i have a co-worker she lost a lot of weight she was just concentrating on cardio so she, so she could lose the weight but now she has a lot of saggy skin um, I'm not comfortable in my weight. It is true. I'm not comfortable in my weight, but at the same time, I don't want to lose weight just to have another, um, self-conscious, um, uh, uh, um, problem. You know, I love my bikinis and everything, but then, you know, I don't want to have like sagginess in my inner thigh, more flab when I'm, you know, waving and stuff. And, and I, you know, some women, um, they lose so much weight, their breast sags even more. I, you know, I have a natural sag. Obviously I have three kids. I breastfed. Um, but I don't need that. I don't need a senior citizen body that like, I'm going to see how it goes. But if it's, if it's, if this thing is going towards that way where I see like changes, but not in a positive way, I have no problem stopping. I will stop. I have no problem stopping. Um, cause the bad thing about this thing is, um, you can't exercise like that. You cannot exercise like that. I can't go to my Zumba classes. I can't go to my weight training classes. I can't lift any weights. I can walk as much as I want on the treadmill and I could uh, run just for five minutes and, and get off. That's it. You could like, you could over exhaust yourself with this thing. Um, so I didn't like that. I thought it was something that I can, um, you know, do my weight training and then just lose the weight while I'm doing the, my weight training. But I cannot do any weight training. And I, I you know, like I said, I, I'm not really vibing with that because weight training is what strengthening everything, tighten everything up. Um, so like I said, we'll see. We'll see. Um, we'll see. Uh, I just pray and I hope for the best. So anyway, um, I'm going to tell you what is up with this hcg now there are certain lotions um shampoos and um body wash that you cannot use so i got theirs because i was just like okay I, I i don't have time to sit up there and try to figure out what i can use what i can't use everything have to be natural or whatever like i can't use baby oil i could you could use baby oil but you can't use like the one with the cocoa butter and stuff like this so i was like oh let me just get the products and be done with it so i got this um body wash and the body wash is a centrist uh, body wash and I got this one and it was 14 bucks then I bought this one which is the lotion and the lotion was $27 and then I got the book and the HCG together was $99 so I spent a uh, $246 to so $200 200 and uh, $200 and 46 cents is what I spent on this um this thing has the cookbook and everything on there um this thing has um, for you to say, you know, take track of your progress, which I really like. Um, I'm five, two. So if I want a smaller frame, I have to be 108 pounds. Mm, I, I don't think I'll look good at 108 pounds. Um, if I want a medium frame, I have to be between, well, small frame, 108 to 121 medium, 118 to 132 large, 128 to 143. Um, like I said, I was going for 150, but I have to be 130 now. Um, so let's hope for not Bobby for no bobbleheads, okay? Um, so I like that. I'm gonna read that. They also had a cookbook. This woman also had a cookbook, but I didn't want to get the cookbook. You could go on YouTube. Um, I, when I went on YouTube, I saw diets and meal prep, so I was like, mm, let me let me just go with that. Okay, so let me lock the door because I'm not doing this video again. All right, so good news. I won a Dianu contest. So this is a Dianu haul. I'm so excited. I love Dianu. I really love Dianu. Um, so let's just, I won a $200 gift certificate and then I spent $67. So I, it, all this come up to $267. So I bought three things. I bought one thing each for my kids and then I bought myself two jumpsuits, one crop top and a two piece outfit, okay? So let's start with the kids first. So I bought, I originally bought this for my little man, but he was premature. He's two years old and he's pretty um, small. So I think this one is going to go to the six-year-old until my son is old enough to wear this one. So this is the button-up shirt with Dianu, for Dianu. This is the button sh button up shirt for Dianu. I love the fact how it has the Dianu logo because you guys see it says Dianu. You see that D over there and then they have it right here. So I thought that was kind of cool. I love the pockets. I love the... 
I just love this. And then the high low effect. I just really love this shirt. It's just really, really cute. Um, I actually bought a dress, an African dress, an African, um, uh, I'm not going to say African dress because it's not an African. Well, it's from a black owned company. It's an African company. Um, and, um, that shirt would go with it. So anyway, this is what I originally bought for the six year old to wear, but now the, my son, the two year old is going to wear this. This is for a T, uh, but I could tuck it in. So this is, um, a t-shirt but the t-shirt is the same material this part is not wax is the same material as the t-shirt so i thought that was pretty cool and then on the side again it has the logo um this was really cute this is really cute i really love this this is really cute now for my oldest when i went to the kids they had two shirts left but they did not have her size so i went to the men's section so this is my first men's um um purchase from them and i bought this shirt this is a yumi african kid print which was the t-shirt you guys saw that's the name of it and this one is the chucks african print boy button-up shirt and this one is the dayo men's african t-shirt now for the for the men's t-shirt um this part of it is the wax uh African material. So I thought it was really nice. I got it in a small for my 10 year old. My 10 year old could tuck it in. My sorry. My 10 year old could tuck it in and put it with um high waisted jeans. I'm going to I'm going to make sure she pairs this in the fall with um her she has a black leather skirt. I think that would be really 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 cute. So I have this crop top. And this crop top So pretty much I didn't pay for anything except for this crop top and um these shorts that's it um and uh, yeah that's what was the 67 dollars um so i paid half and half of this and it was kind of like 67 dollars um the crop top is um uh boomy i mean yeah boomy yeah boomy b-u-n-m-i women's um african print front crop top tie up crop top so this is it and i really like it i have a skirt that's kind of like this same material but this one is brighter and i kind of was like and it, the skirt came with an extra sash the well this part is more purple my skirt i believe is more blue so i think this one would be like kind of i i like to mix prints and i think this would be like really cute um to match up with the skirt the skirt had pockets and it came with a matching shawl so i could you know use the shawl with it and everything but you know take a look at this i love the puffiness of the sleeves the elasticity right here this is just a really cute shirt you could tie it like that or you could tie it in the front and then tie it in the back so i thought this was really cute all right so let's go on to the next let's go to i'm gonna put on the crop top that goes with this outfit I got this crop top, the crop top that I just took off, I got it in a 2XL. This crop top, I got this crop top in an extra large and I got the shorts in a 2XL. And the only reason why I got the shorts in a 2XL was because I didn't want the shorts to be tight and tucked underneath my bottom. And I knew I wanted to wear this outfit for church because my church is supposed to be opening soon. So I wanted to wear something that was like, I feel like, oh, please, did it? Did I do that? Oh, shit. I'm going to have to try to freaking figure out how to do that. Oh, I don't know how I, I, I have no idea how I did that. Oh, I didn't. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Cause I, I can't, I, I, I really can't. So anyway, you tie right here. I thought, uh, you know how sometimes you have these things with the holes and then, and then the string oh, gets caught and you have to figure out how to take the string out. Oh, I really didn't want to be irritated right now. So anyway, I like, I like this style because this is my first two piece crop two piece outfit from Dianu and this is my first crop top from Dion that one was my first crop top from Dianu and I was not disappointed. Um I don't have a bra on um but anyway, I love this. I love the fact that I have this ruffle right here but it doesn't go all the way in the back. So when you look at me in the back, obviously the print gets your attention, but then I turn around and I surprise you with the ruffle. So I really like that. So when I wear this for church, you see you just see it like just a little slither of my skin. It's not too bad and that's why I wanted and it's high waisted, but that's why I wanted I wanted to be able to hike it up where it looks like a one piece. So th see Oh, let me move this. Cuz the the back is like all up in the shot and you guys can't see anything. 
sorry <laughs> so um anyway so see deep pockets another thing i love about diani deep pockets not too bad on my bottom now because i got a 2xl obviously it's like more saggy but i love it not too bad not too bad let me see um see i don't have anything Ugh. i'm gonna jump so you guys can see <laughs> i don't have anything to step on so you guys could get a good look but i think you guys get a good enough look but i love it i love it it's really cute i love it so let me um go ahead and try on the jumpsuit let's do that right now try on the jumpsuit so I'm going to try on the jumpsuit that I was crazy about that I really wanted to get. I really wanted to get this jumpsuit because I really wanted, okay, I really wanted to get this jumpsuit because A, at first I, when I saw this jumpsuit, I wanted to get it for Christmas because it's red. But then I was like, I didn't have the opportunity to get it for Christmas. So then I was like, okay, fine, let me go ahead because for Christmas we were supposed to go to Mexico. So since we were going to Mexico, I was like, you know what, let me try to get something a little bit more tropical instead of getting something that's, you know, the color's not so vibrant. And <laughs> we didn't end up going to Mexico, so um, I didn't end up getting the jumpsuit. So then I wanted to get the jumpsuit because we were supposed to before this whole thing happened, before we got, before we all locked into our houses. <laughs> Um, I was I wanted to get this for a bio concert as you guys know last year I went to bio bio is a Haitian concert and I wanted to go there with what Michael Byrne and Jay Perry and uh, some other um, Haitian artists and I want to wear it because obviously it's mostly red and blue um, and green but um, obviously it got canceled all the concerts everything got canceled you guys know why I don't need to tell you so the one thing I like, again, deep pockets, and not only that, um, you can cinch in the waist. Now, this is my second jumpsuit from Diandu. I am not a person that wears jumpsuits only because I don't like the way it makes my butt look. But in Dianu, it just, it gives me a nice form. So they're really helping me out. They're really helping me out. And look at the sleeves. The sleeves are really nice. Deep pockets. Um... I wore Dianu last year for my um, work meeting um, and for my annual work, work, work meeting where everybody in the building comes and I got compliments, 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 compliments. And I said, I need to get another jumpsuit and I won and I finally got, so now I have three Dianu jumpsuits, which I'm really happy about and I'm going to keep adding on to the collection because I was kind of like, oh, hundred bucks for a uh, jumpsuit. But when I got it, I forgot. I, I I I saw why, and I forgot. I kind of forgot about how much I paid for it, and I remembered when people were asking me how much, you know, oh, where did you get it? And I told them how much I paid for it, and like I said, this is something you're not gonna see everybody walk around with. I'd rather get something tailored and something that is not gonna be, you know, where H and M, where everybody could have the same thing. You see what I'm saying? Um, so, and then you're supporting black businesses, so my, why not to Two, you kill a bird, two birds with one stone. There you go. <laughs> um, this one, I feel like if you're a Caribbean person, you go to the um, club, you know that they always have like a military wear party. I feel like you could wear this one if you wanted to go Afrocentric. You could wear your combat boots. It has green on it. Get you a, a leather beret hat on there. You know, um, I, I, I really like this one. Now, this one, I really wish all the jumpsuits are pretty much made the same, like the design of it. But I really wish that this one would have had a pocket in it. I, that's the only thing I really wish. I wish they would have put a pocket in this particular one. Um, I like the design or whatever, but I wish it, it would have had a pocket. And I don't, honestly, I don't mind the design and the, the, the design being the same in all of them because um, usually that irritates me. But, um, I don't mind it for this one. I don't know why. I guess it's because the way it de they're designing it, like, it's not a heavy, hot material, but like in you know, like the cold, the cool summer um, nights, you could wear these. You could wear these in the fall. You could wear these in the winter. You like you put a fur wear it in the winter, and you're good to go. You know, um, um, you could wear it in the summer if you want to. Me, this is like just too much for me uh, for those really hot days. Um, but I live up north and now we're getting hot days so i all this time if things were open 
um, I could have been wearing these. So I really, I just really love this. Um, so this one is the one that I like, uh, that I love um, at first. And then this one is the one that I just got by default because I was just like, well, I couldn't find the other one. The other one sold out. So I was like, well, let me go ahead and get this one. It's still beautiful. I love the colors. And then I end up, and what, now I'm like, this is my favorite one because um, I love green, green, you know. Uh, and just like all the her um, jumpsuits, um, you know, you got to tie, you could tie the waist. And I showed you guys what you could do. You could roll up the sleeves and stuff like that. But the bottom is like a rectangular square, okay, shape. And then it has these strings. So you could turn them into what? Camo pants. So I thought that was really cool. And I think since I know I could turn these into camo pants, that is um, why I feel like if I if I wanted to do like a military look, I can do it. This is the jumpsuit I would wear. I have a green jumpsuit that I usually wear when I try to make do that look, but now I have something that's gonna give me just a little bit more flavor, just a little bit more swagger up in here. So I really like that. So this one is the last one. I'm gonna try this one on right now. Um, last but not least, and my favorite from everything in the, well, everything in the, 